we've got a new product from Safe Connect. They make the hot connection indicators, a product we are a massive fan of. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. They're a great bit of kit. So these clip on to the conductors within a consumer's unit and they are affected by temperature. Is that right, Joe? Yeah, that's right. So the idea is they clip onto a, a conductor inside a consumer unit. And as current starts to flow through there, if too much current flows, the conductor becomes too hot. Uh, then the uh, indicator will start to change color. It'll start to go from purple uh, to pink. So you've got a visual indication that the uh, conductor is overheating. Wow. So that being the case, Gaz, uh, what happens as they get way too hot? Yeah, so as they, they rise up to 70 degrees and stay beyond 70 degrees, they actually go from purple to pink and they remain in that permanent pink status. Yeah. So when you take the consumer unit cover off, it's almost as if you've had a visual check for the five, 10 years that you haven't been actually looking yeah. inside the consumer's unit. And you can see over a period of time that some or, or all of the conductors have actually gone beyond 70 degrees. Yeah. We've got a brand new product now for the 13 amp plug top or any plug top really, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to be a 13 amp plug top. We're gonna to be using one today on a 13 amp plug top. What's that, Joe? So this is a, a it's actually a prototype product. Uh, this hasn't been released just yet. We've, we're very close to, to the release. Uh, and what this is, this is a little sticker uh, that just goes onto a plug top and it's got a color changing indicator in the middle of this. So this sort of pinky uh, dot in the middle there will actually change color. Once the plug top starts to go above 52 degrees C, it will change from pink to red okay. to indicate that the uh, plug top is getting too hot. Uh, hopefully it will alert people to an overheating plug top nice and early. Yeah. So we've not got uh, an ongoing problem. And also it will give a visual indication that they probably shouldn't touch the plug top. They should switch it off and so they're not gonna burn themselves on it. So what we've done is we've had a, you know, we're using the electric heaters, I think we used in one of your experiments yeah. as well. We're saying clearly now, please don't try this at home to just prove the fact that yeah. these stickers will change color. We've overridden the plug top fuse, Joe. Yep, we're deliberately uh, sort of gonna overload this plug top. So again, don't try this at home because you could start a fire. This could be very, very dangerous potentially but we're in controlled conditions yep. here. Uh, we've overridden the fuse, as Gary says. So this is now gonna start drawing too much current through the plug top. It should overheat the plug top and we'll see that uh, dot change from pink to red. Okay, and we've also put one next to it as a control condition where we've just got a simple light load on and we've got that lighting yep. fitting on, so a very small load on there, so next to it. So hopefully we'll see when both loads are on that actually the one that's overloaded, we can perhaps see this sticker change color. Yeah, exciting stuff, let's do it. Let's have a look. So we've got three electric heaters, all rated at two kilowatts each, plugged in Joe. So approximately what current are we drawing? So we've got six kilowatts in total. We could do the calculation and get it exactly, but we know from experience, we've got somewhere between 24 and 27 amps is gonna be flowing through this 13 amp plug top. Mm. The key point from this to bear in mind is that we've basically got way too much current flowing through that plug top. We've massively overloaded it. So what we should start seeing is we should start seeing that uh, little dot there starting to turn red. Why is that 13 amp fuse not gonna trip when we've got too much current flowing through it, guys? See, I'll get that one, don't I? Uh, we've actually overridden it with a piece of fuse wire. We've strapped it around the actual uh, 13 amp fuse within there, hopefully, so we can generate enough current going through that plug top to see that sticker change color. Yeah, we just wanna reiterate again, yeah. please don't try to recreate this experiment at home. We're experienced electricians. This is something that uh, we, we know how to do safely. We're in controlled environment. Don't try and do this at home because you could well uh, damage yourself, cause a fire, uh, and have a really nasty accident. So uh, we'll turn the power on, yeah. and we'll hopefully see that sticker starting to turn red. Okay, Joe, moment of truth. We're gonna turn on the socket and see what's gonna happen with this six kilowatt load on. Okay, so let's turn it on, and then we'll uh, monitor the progress of the red dot. So at this point, we've now got way too much current flowing through this fuse down this flex. So hopefully this will start to get hot and we should see a color change on the dot there. Let's see what happens. So we've run a, a nice demonstration of the yeah. hot plug indicator sticker. We've seen that uh, installed on the plug top here. We massively overloaded uh, this plug top. But we simulated it and faked it so that it would, uh, it would get hot quite quickly. Yeah. And we can see there that the, uh, the indicator dot has quite clearly gone from the pink colour to the red colour. So anyone coming along to this now would know that there was a problem yeah. with this uh, plug top and hopefully not even touch it yeah. because 52 degrees is, is getting 
hot enough to burn. Uh, so they'd just switch that off either at the isolator or the switch on the socket itself uh, and allow that to cool down before they started interacting with it. Yeah, it currently isn't branded as the hot plug indicator either because these are prototypes. Mm. They said to us it would be slightly thicker as well and the yep. product was a slightly thicker product yep. as well. So we can clearly see, you know, hopefully we brought it in, that it's actually turned ready. And again, it wouldn't matter where you stuck it onto the actual plug top itself. They're not also only for 13 amp plug tops, are they, Joe? Uh, no, they can be used on uh, the 13 amp plug top or the more more industrial style plug top, the BSEN 60309 plug tops uh, that we see out in industry, so it'll work on any of those, which is really good. Yeah, fantastic little product. I think both products are yeah, fantastic. Yeah, really good. Well, they're literally award-winning, yeah. aren't they? They yeah. won uh, an award at the Electrical Times. They won two. Uh, award. They did, didn't they? They, they won did. two, yeah, I forgot that. Yeah, for the same product, they did, they did fantastic work. So we think it's a fantastic product. Again, we can see it being a wide scale application, especially if you yep. incorporate it in when you're doing what type of testing? Uh, into what uh, is often referred to slightly inaccurately as PAT testing, uh, more uh, accurately referred to as in-service inspection and testing of electrical equipment uh, testing. That, it's it's a lot easier to say, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot more snappy, yeah, but it's more accurate and that's the main thing. So again, you can imagine you do a portable appliance test as part of that, yes, <laughs> and you could see easily the, the pass sticker being incorporated into that, couldn't you? Yeah, also, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. You, you, put your, you put your green pass sticker on there, yeah. stick one of those beneath it, and then it's, it's, it's an added safety feature for, for people working with electrical equipment. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. So, as always, we're going to end this video. Shall we go for it? Yeah. We, we hope, hope this video, video has, has been, been some help. help.